everybody. Welcome back to Anderson's TV. I'm the captain, and I am Danish Pete. Hello. Yes, and today we are here to show you some of the new additions to the East Coast acoustic guitar range. Now,、mm, I'm excited. Like、uh, I'm excited about Adele's new album. <laughs> <laughs> no, actually, I mean that. I mean so that's、um, not a joke.、Uh, did you see John Mayer interviewed Adele for Sirius? Yes, I didn't.、FM. I haven't watched it yet. Watched it. Anyway. Anyway. anyway, anyway, we no, digress. So,、yeah. East Coast, as you may、uh, know, is our kind of Anderson's favourite guitar brand for、uh, affordable instruments.、Oh. So you've got electric guitars, bass guitars, and acoustic guitars, and you can go and check out、uh, all those guitars in the links below.、There's、yeah, loads subscribe. Of great, great value guitars. Yeah.、Um, If you want to see the overview video, I don't know how many videos there may even be now, but hopefully there's like one relatively concise video up there、yeah. uh, where you can see、uh, the main East Coast acoustic guitar range. Because、yeah. a lot of the stuff that we've got here are just like new colours and new versions within、mm. the range.、Mm. Um, there's a couple of new models as well, but it's an amazing range, and it、yeah. starts from about eighty quid,、it's、and they're、incredible. just the best. You know, none of these are toys; these are all professional, proper guitars.、Mm. Um, they're not,、uh, you know, they're not like kids' guitars or anything like that. Although certainly, you know,、Some、kids could start、wise. on them.、Uh, they're just really, really great. So at the beginning of that jam,、uh, you heard、uh, me playing the G1 in black, and、mm-hmm. you heard Pete actually playing one of the new models. Yeah. So I'll start with the G1 because the、yes. G1 is the most popular、uh, guitar in the East Coast range. It comes in a natural finish, which is super, super popular. Yeah.、Um, and now it's coming in the gloss black, which looks super cool. Very Th- Bruce Springsteen, isn't it? Very. These are eighty-nine <laughs> quid. All right. <laughs> now it's what's called a, 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 a grand、crazy. auditorium shape, which is a little smaller than a dreadnought, but not so small that really you'd say it was like a、um, like a, a miniature guitar. No.、Nope. Uh, it's about the little, maybe even a little bit bigger across here, but it's smaller at the waist and smaller up、yes. here, so it tends to feel like if you're strumming like this. Feels a little bit more comfortable, but it、yeah. still sounds big. So that's the G1, killer,、mm-hmm. killer sounding guitar. I mean, I'll just play it in isolation. Very nice guitar. Yeah. And、uh, this particular one, you can't plug into an amplifier. But if you want to plug things into amplifiers, which we will do in a minute. You could go again black with the cutaway, or this super cool new blue with the yeah, cutaway. Yeah, I love that. And we'll do some close-ups on the pickup system that's on there because that's、blue、pretty、fade. cool as well. But we'll get to that one、yes. in a bit. So nice. Yes,、um, Mr. Pete. Yes, I... has a new shape guitar. So, yeah, and it has a little baby brother or baby sister, whichever way you go here. Yeah,、so. well, yeah. This is the J1, so this is kind of a jumbo shape, but again. Not not jumbo jumbo as in if you got J four J forty or something from Martin, which is much bigger.、Yeah. This is kind of it's it's the it's popular、like、mini- travel yeah it's a miniature so, jumbo so, so size. The, the travel guitar thing, which is this was the sort of the I suppose the most popular travel shapes.、So、this is in the East Coast range. This is the M one. Yeah.、Um, Again, Taylor did a, a guitar called the GS maybe ten years ago. Became、yeah. unbelievably popular. Unbelievable.、Um, and they kind of. It was like a slightly bigger version of a travel guitar, so still small and still easy to sort of take、yeah. around in a gig bag, but just but big sound. A mini jumbo. Yeah. So anyway, well, so that、like、we'll, we'll we'll come to that in a minute. So what、yeah. we've done with East Coast is kind of expanded this idea of the travel series、yeah. into a mini jumbo、yeah. and a sort of a mini parlor. Yeah. Ninety nine pounds. Nuts, right? Ninety nine pounds. Spruce top, mahogany back and sides. Same for the parlor. Um, Long fingerboards on these as well. There's no real sense that you know there's a right or wrong shape here. Clearly, the the smaller the player, perhaps the easier they'll find the smaller the guitar. Yeah, or, or if you want, I mean, you can get two hundred quid, and、both. you've got you've got one that's great for like picking, flat picking, blue stuff, and one that's good for strumming. In the olden days, in the, in the olden, olden days. days, that was really what dictated the size of the guitar was sort of tone and power and volume. Yeah. So typically, the the bigger the guitar, the louder it would become, and the bassier it would become, and the smaller the guitar, the more sort of mid rangey. And and、uh, so you tend to find typically, you know, fin- finger pickers are going with guitars like this, and big strummers are going with guitars like that. Yeah. But Pete, give us some tones、yes. on the J one.
There's nothing wrong with that at all. For 99 quid, it's, it's mad. It, it, every time I pick these up, you go, really? Is it £99? Pounds? Well, that's what, 99, we've got yeah. a great endorsement from Justin Sandico of justinguitar.com, who basically, I remember showing him the, the G one, the original one of these, and he just, I, it, it, honestly, I think it took me about five minutes to convince him that I wasn't winding him up about the price. Yeah, it, and you know, it, little details, like a little bird on here, that, and yeah. the, I like the inlays that I like that, although it just, yeah. it just all looks really yeah. nice. There's a satin finish on this, so, so it's easy to play. It's not a big neck on here, so if, even if you've got smaller hands, you know, it's, it's super easy. I, I should say as well, these are all steel string guitars. Yeah. Um, the other kind of, you know, typical acoustic guitar is what's called a nylon string guitar. Maybe you might have heard that as a classical guitar. Um, they have a different kind of tone to them. Um, the main thing though with nylon string guitars when you're learning to play, if you're, if you're buying this for a child, um, typically speaking, children will, won't develop the kind of calluses on the end of their fingertips that make playing a steel guitar, steel so string guitar sort of easier. Make them. Yeah, so you, you either do just sort of force them to learn yeah. and cry and all that kind of stuff, or what most people do is start them on a nylon string guitar, much, much softer um, yes. strings to play. Yeah. Uh, and that's another video on those guitars if you look up there, because East Coast have a whole range of nylon string guitars as yes. well that we'll show you in another video. But anyway, can I hear the, um, the P um, one? I am, yes, of course you can. I mean, I'm super impressed with these. I must admit, so, yeah, much smaller, much smaller. I mean, something it's like that's that. right. It's for, I'm, I'm, I've been watching the Beatles thing on. Oh, on Amazon. Uh, no, it's, Amazon it's, it's Apple. It's Apple. A, uh, Disney. It's Disney. Yeah, Disney. Disney. Apple. So many streaming channels and now. And it's just, it's I've amazing. They found all this and they're playing. You know, they're coming. They, they, they write. Uh, mm. Don't let me down on this. They're just sitting in this room and write, it's just incredible. I need, I need to get into the Beatles because it, yeah. it's every time you get into it, you realise that. The chord inversions that they used to use in their songs are what makes it magic. So you can play like any Beatles songs with probably your basic three or four chords, but they'll never sound quite right because they're playing all the inversions. Yeah. Anyway. Well, anyway. We'll anyway, that's a big digress. Disney, yeah. Right. Can I go over to this one? Yes, now? you can. So last year, uh, the East Coast range just consisted of one of these kind of guitars that looked a bit like that. Yeah. And it was, um, you might be sort of going, why is that one color and this is another? So th this is, has a mahogany top on it, whereas these are spruce. Yeah. And that gives a slightly different sort of slightly darker sound. Last year in the uh, East Coast range, there was a solid top version of this with no pickup. It's still in the yeah. range. It's mm -hmm. about 120 quid, I think, isn't it? 129? Yeah, 129 quid, yeah. It was super, super crazy popular. So we yeah. thought this year what we'll introduce is a, a non-solid top version to get the price down. So that's 99, 99 quid. 99 pounds, believe, that one. Yeah. Uh, it's Links got a below. slightly simpler rosette as well. Yeah. And what we'd also do, if Pete just holds it up for a second, yes, 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 is yes. take the solid top version and add a pickup. So all three of these guitars are in the range. They all look very, very similar when you're looking on yeah. the website. So check the, you know, look for the description and look for the detail to make sure you get the right one. Yeah. And the one with the pickups, 159. Yeah. Um, so give us a little strum on, yes. on this one and then we'll, we'll, we'll quickly plug. So, oh, I've got one more guitar to show you Whoa. as well. Oh, I know, I've got, a, I've got this blue yes. one over here. We plug it in as well. Again, slightly, slightly smaller sound than this, but bigger than that. It, yeah. Funny that, isn't it? Because it's quite <laughs> in the middle. I mean, it's perfect for, it's just the perfect little sofa guitar or just take it with you and, you know, at 99 quid. If you put it in the car, even without the bag, yeah. it doesn't really matter if it gets It's a campfire guitar, just, isn't it? Yeah, it's you, so cheap that yeah. if you ran out of wood, you, you know, just burn, just burn that, <laughs> the keep warm, up. and then buy another one the next day. I mean, it, don't, well, do that's, that's, don't, don't do that. that.
Yeah. Anyway, I mean, I don't know what strings it comes with, but if you are, you know, if you're starting out, I might you you might put a lower gate on here well, just to get a little gauge. bit lighter gate. Yeah, just to, it's, to, I mean, I, I kind of think it's a difficult because one, it's really, short scale length, isn't it? Yeah. So it needs heavier strings, but you know, these definitely aren't children's guitars no, in terms of the quality level that they go in at. No. Um, but because they're so affordable and these are a little bit smaller in size as well, uh, you might want to start up, you know, on one of these. Um, 99 quid, man, 99 quid. What do you get for 99 well, quid? You're going to fill your car up for that. When we go over to talk about the nylon Mine. string guitars, and there are some much smaller ones, again, in that range, I think we'll kind of get into maybe a, a rough idea of what sort of age each guitar is appropriate for. If I'm honest well. with you, on these, I would go with... Probably I wouldn't go any younger than maybe 12-ish, something like that. The, yeah, these guys here, um, definitely. And that's that. a combination both of the size and the fact that with steel strings, it is a little heavier on the on the fingers. But Ooh. anyway, certainly for any tw 12 years upwards, grown-ups, whatever, all these are cool. So yeah. last two guitars, if you grab the blue one. Yeah. Um, so as I said at the beginning of this video, the G1 is the Grand Auditorium, super popular from uh, East Coast. Yes. The D1 is, D is for Dreadnought. You can see this is a, a slightly bigger size. This is super traditional. It's probably the most copied kind of uh, acoustic guitar size there I is. I think it's the most copied guitar. Yep. Um, the Dreadnought. Goes back to the Martin Dreadnought. Um, the whole story about that guitar, if you want to go and watch that somewhere or look it up on Wikipedia. Um, so the D1 is also available in the natural color that you can see here, but gloss black is super popular as well. Uh, there's left-handed versions within the East Coast range as well. So again, links below if you want to find out. Um, and what you're going to hear Pete play now with the with the blue one is the guitar mm. plugged into a little East Coast acoustic guitar 25 amplifier. 25 watts here. Yep. So the little East Coast amp. Now this, the the kind of amp that you would typically use for an acoustic guitar is a bit different to the guitar kind of amp that you'd use for an electric guitar. An electric guitar amp will work, it's completely fine, but it's, it won't capture it's that sort same. of naturalness of the guitar. This little amplifier here, um, in addition to being able to plug your acoustic guitar in, you can plug a microphone in simultaneously so you can sing along. In fact, up it's here is a little... It's got a battery. Yep, yeah, there's Ben is playing that and singing at the same time yeah. in the video. And the um, battery, so you can take it out busking. Make a bit yeah. of extra dosh um, for the next guitar you want to buy. And if you want to, on our website as well, if you buy the amp and the guitar uh, at the same time, we do these bundle deals where you get some money off and stuff like that. But again, links below. So, yep, yeah, don't forget, you could plug this one in, you could plug this one in. There's a whole range of uh, electroacoustic guitars. Yes, indeedy. Yeah. Um, but we're Great just going to hear Pete paying the boot. Pay, paying pay, the boo. Paying the man. the blue one. Yes. So just quickly, if you can see here, uh, three controls here, bass, middle, and treble. You've got a volume. You've got a tuner. Does the tuner mute when it you does. switch it on? Look. Oh, what a great idea. Perfect. Hmm. So, of course, so unless there's a drummer banging away in the background, you, you, you can't tune anyway. Uh, and then you've got a phase switch, which helps if you've got feedback problems, which is great to have. So here's just everything, 12 o'clock. Bit of reverb in here, bit of hall, two different reverbs on the amp room and hall, and some chorus. as well. Yeah, yeah. And then you can play Wanted Dead or Alive by Bon Jovi. Yes. See, I can't play Wanted Dead or Alive. That's your, that's your bag. <laughs> play Hotel California or something. Copyright strike right there. See, that was so a little bit of go. fluff on there, so straight out of the box as well. Um, yeah, Great. these are all straight out of the box. Now, as I said, as we said uh, at the beginning of this video, uh, this is not the full East Coast acoustic guitar range. This is just the new ones for 2021. So please, links below, absolutely wonderful range of guitars. How much uh, was this? One... 29? Yeah, it's bonkers, right? It is bonkers. Yeah. yeah. Anyway, 
Uh, onwards and upwards. Yes. Um, and we shall see you in another video soon. Au revoir. Au revoir.